my Father in heaven. Holy is your name above all names. May your name be glorified. James! What is it? It is Moses and Elijah speaking with Jesus. Teacher, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three shelters. One for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. This is my dearly loved son. Listen to him. Arise, and do not be afraid. Don't tell anyone what you have seen until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. Please tell it. Explain. Please explain. Remember, everyone, the brown boxes will go to Grandma's new home. And the green boxes are things she is donating to charity. Coming through! Oh, hang on, yes! <laughs> oh, looks like you could use some help. Quite the contrary, Joy. I do not need any help at all. In fact, I have calculated the most efficient process for this move, and I will only have to make 12.6 more trips to complete all the packing. Uh, yeah. With my upgraded Superflux nano circuitry, I have run billions of calculations. Oh. Cross reference those results with possible temperature density variations, which would account for any expansion or contraction of the vehicle walls, in order to determine, down to the last millimeter, the perfect packing position for each item inside this moving truck. So, as you can see, I have come up with the perfect plan to move Chris's grandmother closer to family. <laughs> perfect is right. Is it me? Or did it just get really dark? Hello? <laughs> Guys? Uh, a little help, please? Are you excited about moving, Grandma? I am, Chris. Now I'll get to see you every day. Oh, I will miss this place, though. There are lots of wonderful memories here. But since your grandpa passed away... <laughs> well... The house is just too big for me to live in all by myself. Grandpa accomplished so much in his life, didn't he, Grandma? I mean, all his awards, the science foundations, 
The charity groups he worked for? His family? And none of it would have been possible were it not for prayer, Chris. I prayed for him every morning when he started his day, and we prayed together every night before we went to sleep. Grandma, what were Grandpa's prayers like? Well, he especially liked... Oh. <sighs> Are you all right, Grandma? I'll just be back in a moment. Now you keep packing. What, Chris? I think my grandma is, I don't know, kind of sad about leaving. And packing my grandpa's things is making her miss him even more. Oh, I have heard that when someone is sad, they should try to think of happy things. We should talk to her about bunny rabbits, birthday parties, and memory upgrades. Wait, the last happy thing is only if she is a robot. Thanks, Giz, but I don't think that'll help. She was talking about praying with Grandpa, and all I did was ask her how he prayed. Superbook! Oh, not now, Superbook. I need to help my Grandma. I am taking you to a place where you will learn how to pray. on where we are this time. According to my geosensors, we have landed near a very high mountain in Judea, and, uh-oh, the locals seem to be very upset about something. Come on, let's see what's going on. <sighs> Chris, do you think it is wise to approach an angry mob? Tell them to think those happy thoughts, Giz. They'll change like that, right? Yes, happy Judean thoughts in approximately 30 AD. Bumper crops of olives, fat sheep, strong oxen, and an end to the Roman occupation. Oh, this mob will be singing for joy in no time. I was kidding, Gizmo. <laughs> for bunny rabbits and birthdays. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Son, these men are trying to help you. They will cast out your evil spirit. <laughs> These disciples of Jesus have been known to cast out demons. They've been trying for some time, but it is not working for this poor child. Clearly, you do not possess the power to cast out a demon such as this. They need incense and amulets. Spirit, leave this boy and never return. <laughs> they are deceivers! They cannot heal him! <laughs> Master! Lord, have mercy on my son. He has seizures and suffers terribly. He often falls into the fire or into the water. So I brought him to your disciples, but they couldn't heal him. You faithless and corrupt people. How long must I be with you? How long must I put up with you? Bring the boy here to me. I've never seen Jesus so angry with his disciples. Teacher, we did everything we could. But the spirit would not do as we commanded. How long has this been happening? Ever since he was a child, the demon has often tried to kill him by throwing him into a fire or into water. Please, have pity and help us if you can. Why do you say, if you can? Anything is possible for someone who has faith. Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. I 
order you to come out of the boy. Is he dead? Oh. Oh. My son. My son. Please, no. The boy has died. called us faithless, Peter. He was speaking to the others. Weren't we the ones he chose to go up the mountain with him to pray? Yes. And weren't we the ones who fell asleep, unable to stay awake to pray as he did? You have given us our son, Master. Please, stay and be our guest as long as you wish. May peace be on this house. Peter. You must come speak to Jesus with us. We tried to heal that boy today, as we have done many times with others. But the evil spirit would not leave him, no matter how we commanded it. Something is wrong. Why not ask Jesus yourselves? Teacher, why couldn't we cast out that evil spirit? This kind can be cast out only by prayer. You do not have enough faith. I tell you the truth. If you had faith even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it would move. Nothing would be impossible. What does he mean, Peter? It is... I do not truly understand. Except... If we had been prepared, Jesus would not have thought of us as faithless and corrupt. We are his disciples. That demon should surely have been cast out by any one of us. We lacked in faith. But how do you build faith? Jesus often relies on the word of God to overcome obstacles. We hold the word in our hearts and should return to it daily. This is one good way to build faith. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war may rise against me. In this I will be confident. Do you think Jesus is going this early in the morning? They say he often goes out to pray by himself. Come on. Father, I pray for my disciples that they may have the ears to hear and the eyes to see. Please strengthen them with the faith they need to do your will on earth. They must prepare to spread the word when I am no longer with them. Please help them, Father. Hear their prayers and grant them faith to overcome all evil in the world. I want them to be one with us. Gis, even though Jesus was angry about the disciples' lack of faith yesterday, listen to how much he loves them. He's just talking to God and asking for help for them. 
I wonder if that's how my grandpa prayed. Excuse me. James, what's happening? Jesus is sending us out to nearby towns to share the love of God and prepare the way for him. The harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into his fields. Father, send more workers that the harvest may be great. Go and remember that I am sending you out as lambs among wolves. Don't take any money with you, nor a traveler's bag, nor an extra pair of sandals, and don't stop to greet anyone on the road. As soon as you enter a home, say, God bless this home with peace. If the people living there are peace-loving, your prayer for peace will bless them. But if they are not peace-loving, your prayer will return to you. If the people of a town welcome you, eat whatever they offer. Heal their sick. <laughs> and say, the kingdom of God has come near you. Praise God! I am healed! <laughs> Calm down! Hold him down! We're trying to get his arm! What is the matter with this man? An evil spirit has taken hold of him and he cannot be calmed! <laughs> Come out! Thank you. Thank you. The free Superbook Bible app has fun stuff everyone will love. It's jam-packed with games and activities, plus lots of exciting Superbook episodes that you can watch for free. Find answers to your questions, watch videos, discover biblical heroes, and of course, read the Bible. The new Superbook Bible app. All the fun of Superbook in an app. Free downloads on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon. Master, Peter has returned with some of the others. What's happening? The followers and disciples have returned. We are sharing all of the wonderful things our faith has made happen. Yes, we've seen it too. So many miracles. It was amazing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Philip, Nathaniel, where are the others? Lord, even the demons obey us when we use your name. Yes, I saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning. Look, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy. Nothing will injure you. But don't rejoice because evil spirits obey you. Rejoice because your names are registered in heaven. My Father, Lord of heaven and earth, I am grateful that you hid all this from wise and educated people and showed it to ordinary people. Yes, Father. That is what pleased you. My father has given me everything, and he is the only one who knows the son. The only one who really knows the father is the son. But the son wants to tell others about the father so that they can know him too. Blessed are the eyes which see the things you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see what you see and have not seen it and to hear what you hear and have not heard it. Yeah. 
Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his followers to pray. When you pray, say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Ah, it is good to be back. I still have 11.6 more trips in order to complete... Chris, what are you going to do for your grandma? Well, I've seen some pretty amazing changes happen when people prayed. Maybe I could pray for her. Our Father, who art in heaven. Guys, this is the prayer Jesus taught his followers. It must be one of the prayers my grandpa would pray with my grandma. I think I know what I can do. Grandma? Chris? I'm sorry. There was a lot of love in this house. This was your grandpa's favorite. The Lord's Prayer. Why did he like it the best? Because it's a lot more than a prayer. Your grandpa used to say Jesus gave it to us because it's the perfect model for all prayers. Then this is how we should pray. You and me. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Our God is the God of all gods. He alone deserves our worship. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. We pray for God to come into our hearts so that we can do everything he wants us to do. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors.
The free Superbook Bible app has fun stuff everyone will love. It's jam-packed with games and activities, plus lots of exciting Superbook episodes that you can watch for free. Find answers to your questions, watch videos, discover biblical heroes, and of course, read the Bible. The new Superbook Bible app, all the fun of Superbook in an app. Free downloads on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon. 